Uh, how's it going with the, the challenge that Candice uh, said in the, the video? Did you manage to hold the here and now in place? If you did, I'll give you a, a thousand flapjacks after the, <laughs> after the meeting, the cafe. Um, it's, it's amazing to see that, uh, just to look at your experience, really that's what, when, when you come here, we are just about testing what you hear in your direct experience and really looking and seeing what, what is your, your daily life experience. And, and for me to, to see that each day there, there are and were uh, countless amounts of, of different descriptions. And in the Balance View Training, we just title these descriptions, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations, data. So endless data streaming, like when you turn on a computer in the 1980s or 90s and you saw all the, the black and white DOS code running down the screen, you can look at that when you wake up, all different kinds of things, sirens, <laughs> sirens blazing, completely uncontrollable, random, spontaneous. and. It's a, it's a great example because if there are sirens going on in your head in the morning, you, you think that you can get rid of them. You go, okay, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, life is good. Or maybe um, I'm going to go back to sleep again and they, they won't be there anymore. And yet if we try to manage those sirens that just went past, uh, it's impossible. And so what, what we do here in the training, we recognize open intelligence. We recognize what is stable and clear at all times. And to do that in your direct experience, to test it out, to check it, we can just simply, in this moment, just very briefly, stop thinking. Ta-da! <laughs> what remains? What remains when you stop thinking? Alertness is there. Cognizance. Clarity. Openness, open, clear, like sky. And so this is how we check in our everyday life, and you can test it today. This is the next challenge. It's not really much of a challenge, and you can do it now. Just to check in your own experience throughout the day what remains. What is clear, alert, and, and available to you at all times? Because it, it became very, very obvious that I, there, there wasn't anything that I could rely on in my life from what I had uh, learnt. The thoughts, the emotions, the sensations, the descriptions, they were always changing. And I found that I would see a compelling description, a, a compelling thought, a compelling sensation, and there were, were three ways that I, that I commonly dealt with that. I would indulge it. I would really love that description and, and just totally indulge it. Uh, I would avoid it. I would just not want to, to think about that or I would replace it, try to change it. And so these were the, these were the ways that I would try to manage these, these data descriptions. But when we come to the Balanced View Training, we, we understand uh, a comprehensive and a, just a new way to really relate to our everyday life experience. We allow data to be as it is. And like that initial challenge of holding the here and now in place, we see that data vanish naturally and we can't do that. So we relax and we recognize the reality of, of, our, of our everyday life experience, the profound reality of our experience, which is a always on clear, alert cognizance that we can rely on. It's reliable. It's that immediate benefit that you heard in the video just before I, we, we came up here to speak something that is always reliable. So if you have an experience in your everyday life and you can look at your day, there will be countless negative, positive and uh, every, um, everywhere in between experience if your experience is like mine, constantly changing from this way to that way. 
And so to have a stable ground, uh, a basis to go to, it enables us to uh, be, just be who we want to be in our everyday life. It gives us a go-to and a place that we can really rely on, totally rely on. So to have, to have something that I could rely on in my everyday life experience was completely profound because I was getting to the point where it was just totally, total despair really, actually where you, well, I was looking around for some kind of thought, emotion, a sensation to hold on to. And as we know now, all thoughts, emotions and sensations, they vanish naturally. Random, spontaneous thoughts, just like the flight path of a bird in the sky. They leave no trace. So to base all of my existence on trying to manage them, hold them, indulge them, avoid them, replace them. It's a lot of effort for something that doesn't work. So to have something to rely on and to test out that and to check that in your everyday life experience, there is a simple practice and it's to rely on short moments of open intelligence. So this is what you can try today just for a short moment. Doesn't have to be a long one. Mm -hmm. Don't have to hold on to it. Just check very briefly throughout your day. A short moment of open intelligence. A short moment of allowing everything to be as it is. A short moment of recognizing what's looking, what's hearing these words, what's always stable, what's always clear, what's always alert what's at the basis of all of the descriptions that are going on, of all of that, those, that code that's running. The crucial juncture was mentioned, and it's not really something that you need to think about because it's just your everyday experience. And so we just come to know that. We, come, we can come to see that all of our thoughts have at the basis and inseparable, inseparability like the color blue and the sky. Your ex whatever thought you're having now is totally inseparable from open intelligence. So that really frees us up from needing to have those right thoughts, those good thoughts, the, the ones that say we are a good Bristolian or a good, a good son, a good father, uh, a good mother good brother, sister, family member, a good uh, human being. All of those thoughts, whatever they, they are, we can allow everything to be as it is and we see that we don't necessarily, we don't have to get any particular set of, of data streams to, to be well, to be totally happy and at ease. There is a wholly, wholly positive aspect to our experience, regardless of what the descriptions are going on. And so you can check that out in your experience today. Let me know how it's going. Let me know how you went with your challenge. I'll be at the cafe wa waiting for anyone to deliver the thousand flapjacks. I didn't cook any. <laughs> um, but it's impossible, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs>